Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today's a special show, as you can see by the title there. I'm moving to America, and it's the 51st state. Guys, I'm looking forward to this in the future. I think it's just a terrific idea, and you know what? I'm going for it. Okay, so how does this all start? Well, I'll tell you what. We've got to go back in time a bit here. And for all of you who aren't Americans, maybe you don't know about this. But uh, I'm going to inform you on some American stuff that every American probably knows. I mean, I just assume this. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go all the way back to 1781. And that's when Canada... All of Canada was offered the opportunity to be the 14th state of America. And I'm going to have a nice sip, and we're going to get right into it right now. Oh, man. Okay, guys, it's not a political vid. All my political vids or on my other channel that nobody watches. If you want, I'll put a link down below and uh, you can uh, watch a channel that nobody else wants to watch. But today, we're talking about moving to America. Okay, way, way back then, before what you know now as the American Constitution, yes, Canada was offered to be the 14th state. To this day, the American administration has always held open any part of Canada or Canada as a whole is welcome to full statehood. And if you're an American and you don't know about that, well, shame on you because we all do. Let's have another sip for America. Okay, what is the 51st state? Well, I'll tell you what the 51st state is going to be, and that is Alberta. As soon as Alberta becomes the 51st state, I'll be moving there, and I'll be crossing the hedge from Saskatchewan into Alberta. And you know what? That is just going to be one day, not too far in the distant future, because next year we have a new political party going into Alberta, hopefully in the spring. And guys, the atmosphere in Alberta, Canada is to separate from Canada. Now there's only been one other province that's attempted to do this. They tried it three times. And they got real close, and that was Quebec. But Quebec has no interest in joining America. But I guarantee you, the best deal for Alberta is to join the United States of America. The legislation is already there in America. And they will accept Alberta as the 51st state. And I will be there before it actually goes through. So, I'd like to know exactly... How many Canadians would move to Alberta? Uh, you know what? I tell you what's been going on in Canada all these years. And, you know, it's like a lot of other countries in the world, and you probably have this in your own country as well. Canada really only has two jurisdictions Ontario and Quebec. All of the East Coast and all of the West Coast have just been ignored for the last 151 years. Everything has been centralized into two provinces that have the highest population, and they've pretty well given the middle finger to the rest of Canada, and a lot of people are getting fed up with it. And if you follow Alberta politics, Albertans are getting tired of this too, just getting jammed, you know, like big time, and not getting anything for it. Because Alberta, with their oil reserves and their economy, 
was pumping billions and billions and billions of dollars into this country and getting nothing in return but a liberal government that just says, up yours. Well, okay, I said I wouldn't get too political, but I'm kind of going off on the rail there a little bit. But uh, you know what? It's a joyous day for me when I hear Alberta is contemplating having a referendum within the first term of office with Jason Kenney as their new leader next year and separating from Canada and they will be joining the United States and so will I. So let's have another little bit of a sip for a joyous occasion. And there you go. It doesn't get much better than that guys. Just a little bit of a vid here. Not a political vid. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. I got that from my other channel. But uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes down because I can see a domino effect happening in the future with Saskatchewan, with Manitoba, and finally British Columbia is going to have to concede because there will be no trade going out to British Columbia either. So this is going to be very interesting times over the next couple of years and I will be joining the 51st state of America there you go it doesn't get no better than that guys thanks for joining me here today if you've never seen this channel before you're welcome to subscribe and be an American cheers